Hi there, this is Duncan. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a third party MIDI instrument, in this case, Sample Tank, with our DAW, which in this case is Reaper. Now, Reaper is a fantastic uh, digital audio workstation. If you haven't used it yet, I encourage you to go to reaper.fm and download it and try it out. It is superb and it is very, very cheap. Okay, in this, I've already got a new session here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some new tracks and I'm going to record some MIDI data on them. I'm going to use that MIDI data to then trigger, trigger orchestral instruments. To create a new track in Reaper, you can just double click on the track area here. What I can do in this track is firstly change it from being an audio track to a MIDI track. And you click there and tell it that you're going to be a MIDI track. And in this case, I'm going to put it on port 1. Now port 1 is what I've got my MIDI keyboard plugged into. I could be using the virtual MIDI keyboard down here, in which case I would tell it that the input would be the virtual MIDI keyboard or channels. But port 1 is where I have my hardware MIDI interface plugged in, so I'll use that. Now, on here, I'm going to also load an instrument, because if I push record and turn on input monitoring and push my keyboard, you can see that some signal is coming in, so MIDI data is being transmitted from my uh, MIDI keyboard to Reaper, but there is nothing to trigger the sounds. I'm going to get the sounds by going to my effects area. Now in here I've got um, my sample tank already installed on my computer. Once again, this is a free download which you can download and put in. Uh, and then it's part of my plugins. I'll click on that and go OK. Now at the moment I haven't authorised my sample tank yet, so I still have nine days left of my authorization. But it is free though, it just requires a simple authorization process which I haven't done yet. OK, in here I'm going to load some different sounds into our different MIDI channel areas. It's important to remember that we have 16 MIDI channels and on each of those we can put a sound. Now I'm going to use the free sounds that they've taken from the Miroslav Philharmonic Library and I'm going to put in some ensemble strings on my first channel. There we go, a lot of submenus. And on my second channel I'm going to go and put something different. I'll put something some brass, ensemble brass. French horns even. Now we can hear what it sounds like by clicking on the keyboard there. However, we don't want to play it there, we want to play it with our regular MIDI keyboard. So now that I have two channels with sounds loaded in, I can close this window. What I can do now is I can listen to what I've got by just playing my keyboard. And that's good, it's playing the violins, it's defaulting to the first one, and that's what I want. Now that I've created my sample tank instrument, I need to tell my tracks which MIDI channel they need to transmit on to trigger the sounds. This first track I will name it as my violins, and I'm going to create another track also for my brass, or my French horns brass. Now if I click that and go in there, once again nothing's happening because I need to change it to my MIDI input, port 1. Now I'm still hearing my violins triggered from that, so if I take my first track out of Record Enable, I can see it's receiving data, but it's not getting any sound anywhere. That's because I need to put an input monitoring and also tell it where it's going to uh, transmit the MIDI data to so it can generate audio. My I.O. is how I do this. When I click on I.O., I tell it I'm going to do a new send to the violins track. But rather than going to track 1, look down here, MIDI, Instead of going to all, we're going to send it to track two. So that now when I play it, we can hear the, uh, the French horns, the brass. When I play my keyboards, you can see the MIDI data has been generated there, but it's then sending that MIDI data to my first track, which is hosting all the audio. If I take that out of record enable and listen to my violins again, we can listen to both of them at the same time. So let's try and record something. First I'm going to make sure I've got my metronome turned on, and I'm going to push W to make sure I'm at the start of the track, the start of my session, and go record. There we go, let's try and record something on the brass line now. Record enable it, take the violins out of record enable, push W to go to the beginning, and record.
didn't quite get it right at the end, but that's okay. I think I've illustrated how to do it. You can obviously use um, other types of sounds, electronica sounds, whatever you can find in your MIDI instrument. If we go back and have a look at the sample tank instrument, you can see we've got a lot of other options than just these orchestral ones. We have sample Moog sounds. We have uh, regular instrument, band instruments, uh, sample Tron, more types of uh, synthesizers and more synthesizers in there. And this is just from one free instrument, uh, MIDI instrument that I've downloaded from the internet. There are many more out there that you can purchase and download for free. So if you do a Google search for something like free MIDI instruments, I'm sure you'll find a lot more that you can load in and get some pretty cool sounds with. Thanks very much. Hope you enjoy this tutorial and enjoy the rest of your study.